Oh, shit, shit, shit. Where'd I put my phone? It's right here. I'm prepared as always. Look at the speed run my Twitch up so that I can see the chat. So, uh, I did a little bit of building off stream. This wasn't as big and crazy as I was expecting last night. Or the last stream. When I said that this was going to eat up all my time like Fallout 4 did. It's a good building system, but it's not that crazy. I've pretty much done everything that I can do with the limitations. But, uh, here's what I got. Of course, you got the dining area. The spot for me to cook. I did some uh, amiibos off stream for my decorations. I got the Ganondorf sword from Twilight Princess. I got the classic NES sword. Very cool, simple design. Hi, hamster. Uh, I haven't gotten any shields or bows up yet. I'm thinking of replacing the shield rack with another weapon rack. And maybe what I could do for my shield displays is attach them to swords. And maybe, like, I, I imagine if I fuse a sword to a shield, I could still mount it on the wall, I bet. It's something I'll have to tinker with. I'd like to get it a cool setup. Um, I think it'd be pretty neat if I was able to get the, uh, the NES shield and the sword together on one stand. Like, I feel like they kind of belong together. And then there's the upstairs. We got a portrait of Riju now. And on the other side, Jesus. Uh, I, this took me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I was trying to figure out how to make everything fit together. An outdoor garden with a nice shrine. And my space to sleep. Nice open air, which just seems very fitting for this Link. Like Link this Link is a wild man, you know? It only makes sense that he would have, like, an open-air bedroom like this. It seems cozy. <laughs> yep. Link wakes up to us. A nice sunrise. Perfect view. Um, unfortunately, I'm all out of, uh, potential rooms. Like, I've built everything that I can. There's a limit of 15 rooms. So, I might get rid of the bow stand, because the bows aren't, like, that super crazy. I'm more interested in displaying weapons and shields, because those can be more interesting. The only bow I can think of that I would want to display is the uh, light arrow, uh, the light bow that you get from the Zelda amiibo. So that's uh that's that. I think the blockiness is a little weird in like some regards. Like it gets like over here I have overhang because of how it works. It'd be kinda nice if it detected that there's overhang and maybe put like support beams on the corners. Like if they had like a little system like that, that'd be kinda nice, but it's it's better than what we had in Breath of the Wild. And I'm pretty content with it. Seems like a cozy little place. And the best part is I got to make it myself. So, uh, I think... I have a few things I want to show off after this. Uh, you know what? Huguette was uh, interested in me doing that side quest. Maybe I'll wait for them to pop in. Uh, I got something here that I found that looked interesting. Uh, I'll show that off in a bit. 
Uh, I think first... You know what? Let's do this one first. This looks cooler. I set a travel medallion so I can get to it quickly. This will kill some time while we wait for Hugo to pop, hopefully pop up later. And we'll do the Gazette quest when they get here. Wait till you see the outside of it, Fluff. This is what caught my eye. It's like some kind of, like, snake head. Oh, hi there. I, I may have just attracted a group of enemies with my whistling. Gather around, y'all. I got a present for you. <laughs> How are these fuckers still alive? Oh god, one of them got too close. Did I just use up a fairy? I had four. Okay. It seemed odd that I didn't take that much damage. Oh! Tullin with the sniping. And he's down. But yeah, um, this is probably the most unique looking structure I've seen out here, besides that fire temple that I stumbled into the other stream. Um, the snake head and like the steps going up to it kind of reminds me of the Mystic Ruins from Sonic Adventure. So I thought it'd be a kind of cool thing to check out on stream. Funny enough, if you look at my hero's path that I unlocked, uh, it looks like I've actually passed right through it without even noticing it before. Multiple times. Um, I guess the steps are broken. And without even knowing it, um, I've actually gone on several adventures crossing right between these stairs. It must have been... I just lit this area last night, and that's how I discovered this. All this time, I've been slipping through these cracks, not even knowing that right above me was this cool-looking structure. What the fuck is this? It does. It looks like the Mystic Ruins from Sonic. Wait, what? Spirit Temple? What the fuck? How many how many dungeons are there? This is a dungeon? There's a fifth? I, I don't know if I should be going in here. Let's check it out. What the fuck is this? What in the fuck? Yeah, maybe this is like one of the Zonai tiers. Like maybe there's one for each Zonai stone. Like maybe this is maybe this is like Link's dungeon, you know? Something tells me I can't do anything here yet. What if I go up there? Can't 
can't reach. I don't feel like I should be here. <laughs> I'm too curious though. Okay, I can't reach that. I could probably get up there with the... Is there even anything up there? I don't know if I want to use up a thing. I could. I could like create like a platform of some sort. Yeah, like maybe this is Raro's sister's dungeon or something. Since I already have one of... I think I already have Raro's stone in my hand. Um, Hang on. There's a thing under there. Hmm. I doubt I can hit this through the floor. Yeah. It's probably like a downstairs something. How do I get up? What if I climb up top? It's like sealed off up there. If there's like an upper floor, it's gonna be like in here. Like I have to like reach that middle part where the circle is. I'm curious. I'm too curious not to do this. Uh... Oh, I know what I can do. This will be cheaper than using my rocket pad. What I'll do... Take out one of these. No, if I spring, I'll hit the ceiling. I won't be able to use my ascend. Oh, I'm gonna need another one. Can't do that here. Okay, and then I take this. These last a good while, too. I don't use these as much as I should. Seems like a good way to get up a floor. Alright, this should be more than enough. I can't ascend through it. It's ascension proof. There's definitely something going on here, but I don't think I can do it yet. Interesting. That's very interesting. Maybe there's another follower that we don't know about. And I need them in order to get in there. Like, maybe they do something with the statues. A hole? You see a hole, Fluff? Ceiling holes. I didn't even see ceiling holes. Wait, I see what you're talking about. Holy shit. I didn't even see that. Right. Hmm, this would take a lot of precision. But I'm gonna try this. What if I take, where are they? Here we go. Take one of these out. Fuse that to my shield. Oh, I don't have a shield equipped. Hang on. Okay. Oh, okay. It looks like that's actually blocked off with something. 
Maybe I can ascend through them now. I'm so glad I saved this for the stream. If I can, even if I can't do this now, it's something I'll be able to do later. And I, I have a feeling this is going to be something special. They wouldn't call it a temple and just have it be this room with no use to it. In Zelda games, temples mean business. This room spins or something. Nope, can't ascend there either. Yeah, whatever's going on here, I can't do it yet, so I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go ahead and. You know what? I'm gonna leave that there for future reference. Look at this, it even has a dungeon icon. The Vessel of Spirit's Resting Place. Look at this, it's like a deeper... There's definitely more to this, because look at all this. Like, something I do in here... Is going to make this... Oh. Oh, it's like wide open. No, wait, that's where I came in. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe this room spins or something, because... There's like more behind this wall. There's more to this. I don't think I can do this yet, though, so I'm going to pry myself away. I am very intrigued, though. This is another dungeon that we'll be doing later, for sure. Okay, uh... What's the other thing I found? It was in the sky. Uh... Where's the travel medallion that I placed up here? Here it is. I found this while uh, getting myself a fast travel to Death Mountain. Yeah, whatever it is, it's something I can definitely do later. Like, there's definitely something going on here. And now we know about it. So we know to go for it before fighting Ganon. It'll be probably some quest that pops up once you have all four champions or something. I'm sure the game will probably lead me to it. When it's time. This is where I got those four fairies, by the way. I'm probably going to be leaving that uh, travel medallion here for future use. Have a place that I can always come back to for fairies. There was four fairies that spawned here, so very good. Look at this. This is what I found that was also interesting. And I thought I would check it out on stream because this looks cool. Kind of reminds me of Dragon Roost Island from Wind Waker. Like, the volcano with all the different tiers going up around it. Kind of reminds me of that. Wants me to go over there from here, too, so... Gives me everything I need for it. Looks like there's a shrine here. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. You can pretty much add a steering wheel to anything in this. What is this? Some kind of trial? For a shrine? Zonite Forge Island. Holy shit, that sounds good. Oh, this... Okay, this might actually be a worthwhile side thing.
If Huguette isn't here by the time I'm done with this, I'm gonna start the Gazette. Because I do kind of want to be able to upgrade my equipment. Well, there's definitely gonna be a shrine here, because my sensors are going nuts. Is there anything on this platform? I should look around in case there's uh, treasures. I could find a sage's will if I'm adventurous enough. I should keep my eyes peeled as I'm floating around because there could be loot around here somewhere. You never know. This is an interesting structure. Some kind of fortress. Yahaha. Yahaha. No Koroks in the underground, but there are some in the sky. Yeah. yeah, I imagine the shrine's gonna be on the other side of that cage door fluff. Like, that's gonna be what I un I bet that door I unlock from something up here that I do. Like, maybe there'll be, like, a boss or something I fight, I don't know. Is that an opening? No, it's not. Maybe the treasure was the Geneva violations they made along the way. <laughs> Link committing war crimes against the Korok population. Oh, this area was in the trailer. The lasers that Link is like diving down. It looks like that. Let's check up before we check down. Be thorough. Not as like super crazy as I was hoping, but it's definitely an interesting skyline. It's definitely a lot more interesting than all the like little tiny like four by four. Ah, I'll be fine. I, I'm not really getting one-shot by anything anymore at this point. If I see a boss, I'll heal, but... This is an interesting tree. Yeah, knew it. I just picture that cartoon bonk noise. Doom! Doom! Over and over again. <laughs> I'm 
not really much else up here besides the Korok, so... I'm gonna go ahead and mission impossible my way down that laser grid. And by that I mean I'm gonna fucking get cut in half on the way down. Because I'm gonna hit every single one of them. Ba -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Speed run. So there's the shrine. Ooh, a new gotcha. This game needs a fishing rod, and we need lava fish. Obsidian trout. Ups armor by your armor level. Shrine of prisons and purifies the ancient evil. Side equipment is forbidden. Oh, it's one of these. These are fun. Low gravity, proving ground. Oh. No Dr. Robotnik shit for me to play with? This is just the float boy challenge. job, Link. Yeah, I'm gonna blame Link for this. Gotcha. Oh, I don't have a bow. Now I do. Oh, no arrows. I do have this, though. What is that? Oh, it's a minner. Okay. Crap shield. That is a higher level construct. I should probably be ready for that. I'm just gonna keep them stun locked to be safe. Whew. 
worth it. Oh god, it's one of these. No, 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 no. Let me have it. Fuck. You know what? Fine, I'll take this then. And what I'll do is this. Wasn't supposed to kill me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna make my daring escape, and I got ruined. You know what? I don't need any rocket shields because there's a thing that actually shoots you up over there. So I can make weapons instead out of these. That was supposed to blow up. God damn, he keeps getting this. How? How are you still alive? No, 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 don't burn that. <laughs> I throw a horn at him. That's desperation. A fan. Oh, here we go. Another weapon. Oh, my market club from earlier didn't get blown up. I guess they don't blow unless you actually hit something with them. Okay. There's a platform moving up and down here I can use. I gotta not get hit though. Get up. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Just throw horns at them. you up there, punk. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that shield bomb sir thing is so stupid. The best part is that is actually something that Link does in the old 80s cartoon. Check out that gotcha thingy. Hopefully get some good stuff out of it. I'd like to get large batteries. Large batteries would probably be like the best thing I could get out of one of them. Since I already have a uh, access to steering wheels now. Oh. Some Zonite weapons drop here. Now I know a place I can come back to for those. Do one large, and where are the little ones? Right here. Three, four. Flame emitter, frost emitter. Oh, I have a place where I can get more homing carts if I ever need them. My uh, war chew uses that. I should play with those more. You know what? How about I stock up on some of those carts? Let's go all in. Oh yeah. And then more just I'm dumping out. That's a lot of good loot. 14 homing carts. These are fun. I got cannons. Pretty much everything in here. There's that gate. 
I guess I don't really have to use the gate. Oh, I'm kind of done here, ain't I? Alright, so, uh... Let's head over to the Gazette. Somewhere over here. Here we go. Lucky Clover Gazette. You know, it'd be a fun thing to do, too. Um, I can't remember the name of the island, but that island that in Breath of the Wild was like a survivor kind of thing where you're like stranded on the island with no equipment. That place. Um, it looks like it's still in the game. Uh, let's, we could see what they did different over there. Going by the map, it looks like there's three different things. Uh, this place. Koholit Rock. That's, I can't remember the name of the island itself. But there's a depths entrance there. There's also something up here in the sky. So there's like three levels of stuff going on here. So we got the sky island. The regular island. And then down below, mystery. But I want to check out all three tiers of that tonight. I think that might be fun. There's a lot of things I want to do. Uh... Okay, where's that gazette? My map is set to the wrong level. It's down here. Um, I tried to do that a few streams ago when I went to Hyrule Castle. Like, I was kind of hoping I would bump into that, but... I don't know what's there. Um, I'm definitely down to make another attempt at finding it. We must rebuild the bridge. Oh, the bridge is out. I didn't even notice. Now that the blizzard has passed, I'd like to repair the bridge so that supplies can arrive in the village. So we're not equipped for a major rebuilding project. I heard there are highlands who are skilled in construction. Say, you're a highland. You know any one can help? Sounds like you need a good carpenter. I know, what about that guy at Lookout Landing? If you could build an incredible structure like that, but I have all the I have no problem fixing up your bridge. His name was shoot, I don't remember. It ended with a son. Fantastic AC sends up to the task. However, I can't leave the village right now. Defense I can't fix it myself. I'm going to investigate this, because maybe I can do this myself. This is a game with no wrong answers, so maybe there's an option to do it. Never mind, it looks like this is like... I can't, like, magnetize that. Okay, so that's like a thing I'll have to do on the side. Yeah, I'm going to have to get Hudson's help. Or one of his employees. Hudson's not at Lookout Landing, so it's going to be one of his employees. Link isn't as good at walking up slopes as he was in Breath of the Wild. Like, in Breath of the Wild, he would have been able to walk up this and regain stamina. This right here, too. Like, this is he would just start walking here. Seems like they nerfed a lot of Link's climbing ability. Make it less cheesable. From here. Okay, I'm guessing this is the Gazette quest. Shh. Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for a big Princess Zelda investigation. You hear about it in our newspaper, right? You can get, talk to me, too. I'm in, next in charge. I gotta say, you did a good job finding us out here. So go right on by. It's pretty unusual for a newspaper to be run out of a stable, run out of a stable, but Tracy cheated the previous owner out of this place. But you see, things like they are, 
You see things like they are, don't you? Mm. Ah. You want to be a reporter? Shine light on the truth? Expose the evils of our world? Hang on, I'm doing the wrong voice for this guy. I could put in a word with Tracy for you. Ah. We're going we're gonna to expose the Lazale folks that run, our, that run Hyrule. I'll take care of the next level. <laughs> Don't you listen, Pen. I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. <laughs> and then the thing I thought about this place from the owner after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? Sorry, Tracy, but uh, there's a new applicant for a reporter job. I wanted you to know. Hmm? New applicant? I look like a guy who's ready to take on the scoop. Hang on, you look like... Ugh! Uh -huh. Lit. How could you tell it was me under this mask? I think this lady's a witch. We need to have her burned immediately. Sorry. Sorry, Penn, but... Give me in this guy a second here. Oh, that, that, that's Tracy talking. Derp. I wasn't going for a J. Jonah Jameson, but that works, too. <laughs> I was trying to go for a shitty Alex Jones voice. <laughs> Alright, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here. If you couldn't tell, I recognize you right away, despite what you're wearing. Don't worry, asked us to help digging in what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Uh... Interesting. So that's why she's asking you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Ah. Well, coming here was a great call. I mean, is we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. Among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Ah. I was about to assign Penn to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Penn who you are. It's better for, if no one gets knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though. That'd be nice. Just wait just a second. I'm going to get you a little incentive from the back. Here you go. Oh! Oh, wow. Free armor, huh? Froggy armor? And it's easy to cling to wet surfaces. No shit! That's fucking awesome. Rain's not going to be an issue anymore. Work with Penn to chase it down all these new stories, and I'll give you this armor piece by piece. That's all yours. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a good deal. Hey! Penn, come back in. Ah. Sorry, now this guy's your partner. Huh. Well, if your editor here says you're in, looks like a uh, heavy sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick him. Oh. All right. Too. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads, Ben. You're gonna head this up. Stables bring in people. People bring in details. Details are what we need. Now get me some news. Oh. Okay, listen up, partner. We're on the trail of the truth about Princess Elba can't let even the smallest clue slip through our talons, or our hands in your case. We should visit as many stables as we can. Travelers always have plenty of goings on to talk about. So long! Okay, where am I going? She wants you and Penn to dig up whatever newsy details you can by... Okay, so I just visit different stables. Uh, I just so happen to have a few stables already opened up, so... There's one over here.
story is really something. I'm going through it again just to make sure I have all the details right. Oh. Sure, no problem. Uh, that's a face. I need to get a close-up of that face as soon as I can. Sure, no problem. I'm taking care of a very, very animal for Princess Zelda. A golden horse. But the poor thing ran away from our stable. Mm. Princess Zelda's horse vanishing like that is a pretty big story, but tell me again. Why'd that horse run off? Oh. That's the troubling part, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's a dude voicing this lady. When it happened, I'd finished tending the horses and it's taking a bit of a rest in the stable. And that gentle creature began making terrible sounds, neighing and bucking around so hard it shook the stable. Mm. So you went outside to see what was wrong, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, exactly. And there she was, Princess Zelda, after all this time. Straight in front of our stable. But then the princess came closer and the golden horse thrashed harder. Aww. And that animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I've ever seen before. I couldn't help staring at that crazed creature. Then I looked back at the princess and she was gone. It happened so fast. Mm. So, you lost sight of the horse and the princess Zelda vanished on the spot. That's all strange from start to finish. My little sources tipped me off about this, but I have to say I thought... It was going to turn out to be nothing much. Oh. Hey, partner. You're here. I should have known it was you here. Just look at you. Tiptoeing up like this and getting your ear in. You've got the makings of a real reporter. Oh. oh, this is someone else from the newspaper? Oh. That's right, new partner. Plenty of gusto. A lot of promise. It would be alright if he listens in. Now please, tell us everything else you can remember. Anything at all. Mm. The part that really bothers me is the poor animal acting that way. The horse truly loved a princess. She rescued it and protected it. She doted on it. But the horse was terrified, and for life of me, I can't understand why. Eh? Merchant Zelda's known far and wide for her compassion. I can't imagine her princess being terrifying at all. Mm. Hold on. I think I did catch the briefest glimpse of the princess's face. I thought I couldn't have seen that right, but she had such a cold expression. She's been full of warmth when she's been here before. Maybe the princess was furious that I let the horse get away. I, I really should find that animal and bring it back here for her. Uh... The poor horse galloped north and never looked back. I'd go in search of that steed, but with the huge monster it's flying around up north, it's far too dangerous for me. Best I can do is just keep the horses home here in the stable and nice and clean just in case it returns. <sighs> Hope someone finds that sweet creature and brings it here safely. A golden horse. That sounds interesting. Can I keep it though? You know what I should do? Hang on. Oops.
There we go. Five minutes tier three speed. That should do. Of course, in the time that I cooked that, I probably could have found the horse. Oh, right. I can't shield surf with this. Eh. I'm sure they can handle it. Oh, I think I found it. That is definitely a golden horse. Don't run. Ow. Fucker. Kick the hero. I'm here to save you. Also, it looks like it has its own uh, entry in the compendium. Oh. Picture. Just in case I can't keep it. It's fast. fast enough. We made it. This is a good horse. 
Look who's finally back home. No doubt about it. That is Princess Zelda's steed for certain. I'm worried sick, but now you found it. Eh? Uh, when did you... Uh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up to save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make, a good, you make me proud. But, uh... Is it just me, or is that this place pony that are gotten kind of attached to you? Nah. That's horse well, and I do believe you're right. Yeah, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take good care of it. <laughs> and your travels around Hyrule. Perhaps you even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. <laughs> if that's the case, partner, uh, how could you say no to keeping it? Do it as a favor of the horse, at least. Well, I want you to have this, too. Hey, there's the royal equipment. It is still in the game. Ah. These are a brittle and saddle left behind by Princess Zelda. Oh, I'm doing the wrong voice again. <laughs> These little ones are custom to those, so feel free to use them. Also, take this with you. Nice. Oh. Thought using this energizing elixir if I had to help calm the horse after I bolted off. I don't need that anymore, so I'll give it to you. Ah. You might still be a rookie, but... You're every bit as good of a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I have a full story when I write my ticket article. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right, this is your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such results on your first time out. I feel a little proud of myself. It was the start of an old nest egg. Yeah. Uh, to take more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. <laughs> All right. I'm off to the office to write up this whole piece for the paper. Take care, partner. Let's work together again soon. Sapo! So long! Look at those stats. Oh. Got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse. Uh. You're registering a new horse. We'll have one point two. We got a new reward too. Hmm. Good name for a golden horse. I got it. The return. Or shall I say, the return? Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. Can't restyle your horse's mane yet. Wait, that's a thing? Equip it with a harness, or a different saddle, or brittle. Um. I kind of feel like this should be designated uh. to be just on a fast horse. Ooh. And now we got a good strong horse for pulling wagons. Oh. 
Ah, uh, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. Wait to get your pony points reward, right? Uh. For 10 points, I can now register an additional horse. If you a horse you'd like to make yours, please bring it to us. Let's save up three more oh. points. You'll get a traveler, saddle, and brittle. Appreciate your patronage. Fitting food for a golden horse. Good horse. Now I just need golden armor. A pity I have so many fast travels that horses are kind of useless. It'll be good for those times when I just want to explore, though. I gotta remember that. I, that horses are a thing. I kind of have my vehicles, too, though. And I can just summon those at any time. Speaking of fluff, now that I think of it, I don't think the motorcycle is actually in this game. I feel like the vehicle building kind of invalidates it a little bit. Maybe it isn't it though. I wouldn't be too upset about that. Wait a minute. What does this guy have for a baton? Okay, for a second there I thought he had a wind waker. Really, Nintendo? Do you take away Tingle, but then give us this? Look at his mustache, guys. It's music notes. Oh my god. I think he's a demon. Fire has no effect on him. Oh god. I don't know if I want to be a part of this scoop. Alright, I'm going through it all one more time just to make sure I have it all. Details correct? It happened the night when the great fairy hid herself away. Oh, we had our accident here one awful night, some time after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go get her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with the blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. Mm. Not the real tragedy. That involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breeze. Breezer. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to performance. Or us. No one was hurt. Since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much of his apology. Mm -hmm. For reasons the great fairy has for hiding herself away, I thought a performance would cheer her up. Mm -hmm. But the breeze are broken down. We can't transport our small trooper of our... Or our, our instruments here. Hmm. The one who caused all this was a blonde haired woman, you say? Could that have been? Oh, oh hello there, partner. When no, you out this way? A perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring us on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy lives near the stables. Shut herself away in her flower bud. 
I ask, well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. Mm. Porter instincts are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be the princess? Ah. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true, so we have to talk to the great fairy first. <laughs> Asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. Don't make a decent reporter yet. Oh. Look all the way up those hills. See that big plant in the distance? The one that's spouting that pretty stuff? Out right there is the flower blood where the great fairy lives. They say she really loves this, likes this magical musical troupe. That's why she moved near the stable recently. The great fairy who loves this troupe's music performances? That alone is something worth looking into. Oh. We mustn't forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. That presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. If only I had a way to reach her. The breezer's broken, and we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. Can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. Well, the he's made some sort of change to the breezer. We may be able to be on our way now. Quick, let's get in. Wouldn't want to be left behind. All right, time to pull up. Get my polar horse out. Just go the exact opposite direction. Ooh. End up having to go all the way around. Oh. Alright, which one's my best puller? Looks like it's Shadow Facts. Breath of the Wild, this was Zelda's horse. Too far, Link, too far. Stop. Alright, now we gotta turn around. Thanks, Dick. This is where I think it is. Whoops. It's the great face. Okay.
I have a better destination for you guys. Oh, it's not gonna let me. I was gonna dump them down the hole. <laughs> try. We're gonna make this work, guys. We're gonna save this land of Hyrule. We're gonna make things right. Ah, fuck. We're still doing this. This is important research. It's just a pity I can't go wherever I want with them. Like, I can't take them to Death Mountain and find some lava. Ah, oh, fuck. It doesn't even save the cart. Alright, I think I'm just gonna stop fucking with it. If I have to, like, keep rebuilding the cart. I was going to try dumping them in the swamp, but... Okay, so there's protections against them falling into something. Okay. I was gonna do it anyways. Alright, for real this time, I'm done fucking around. At least I don't have to rebuild it this time. You know what? I'm gonna do a more direct build to get there faster. I'm legitimately going to just do it for real this time. We don't need a horse. We need more wheels. Doesn't have enough pull. Let's get a couple more of these. That 
That ought to do it. Okay, it looks like it's not that great with hills. <laughs> Don't be such crybabies. If you keep being crybabies, we're gonna head back. Okay, okay, come on, come on, you gotta have more strength than that. I should have just used the horse. faster. These guys are pansies. Okay, I'll just use the horse. I wanted to have fun, but I guess I can't. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> Alright, so noted. The small wheels are absolutely worthless. They have no pull. Fifty times a charm. I spent all this time dicking around. I could have just had this done in five minutes if I just did it right. I should have attached them to a fucking rocket and just shot them off into space. I'm sick of doing this though, so I'm not gonna do it. I just want to get this done. is going to be an asshole. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Just right. Stop moving, please. Just just hold still. Alright, lesson learned. No fun allowed. I'm not allowed to dick around with things or it'll fucking break. There's too many safeties in place. And that also means very strictly making sure that it's harnessed correctly and not doing a lazy job with it. If these guys puss out again on me again, I'm just gonna go the rest of the playthrough without any upgrades to my armor. I'm so done with this. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's show these for the performance. Yeah, yeah. These guys are gonna suck. They're gonna be out of key and everything. And the Great Fairy is gonna kill me for bringing them.
all reared in. The great fairy graces us with her presence. Ah. Truly divine. Oh, look at this. You really helped out here, partner. I flew as fast as I could when I saw the bird butt opening up. So, this is a great fairy? Huh? Oh, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in that beautiful music. I can't do the voice right now. It just sounds like Mario. As I'm outside, it sees that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land, and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. Mm -hmm. Now that I look back at it, on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. Hmm. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think your reporting might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the great fairy's out of hiding. That's a big scoop. I got to take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. Hmm. We've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on, add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh, there's also this from Tracy. So, Itano Village's dye shop. Yeah, I know about that. What is that? By accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mm. That reminds me, I need to get my other fabric added. Tracy handed things a bit more simply, though. That's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. Okay, I'm going to take this story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on for every word. Bye. So long. Mm. Stro, I thought the rest of your musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. <laughs> violin? That wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> Guess I really did do that, didn't I? I heard the other great fairies also are hiding away in their buds. I bet a few. I mean, we play music for them. That cheer them up, too. A brilliant idea. And you know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop. The Stable Trotters. <laughs> Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop for now. Uh, we're a troop of two for now, but oh, you just wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that's decided. Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Okay, that's a thing. I can get great fairies opened up now. Huh? I was about to return my spring and sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across the land, you know. Mm -hmm. You'll find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as sacred as I was to come out of hiding. Scared as I was. Oh, they're marking him for me. In case it's near a stable in Harrow Field. Kutra is in the stable with the Cluda. Oh. I'm worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. I ask if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? And while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes for you? Mm -hmm. The power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Oh. Okay, so just like Breath of the Wild, I cannot enhance this. That's a pity. I need to get opals. So I can upgrade my wild outfit. Oh, wait a minute. I need scales for the wild outfit. That's the win. I need dragon scales. And acorns. Okay. Bye. I'll definitely be doing a lot of the grinding for that off stream. And I'll just do the upgrades on them. It's really 9 o'clock.
so. Maybe there's some things I could... Oh, I know. I'll check out this maze on the top right, and then maybe I'll check out the, uh... The island to the southeast. Yeah. And if there's enough time, maybe I'll head for Death Mountain for the next stream. Get Yonobo added on the party. That's how to do. And then there's more up there. Before I go to the southeast island, I'll have to remember to go to Hypetano real quick so I can hit up the dye shop. I want to check that out, get my glider set up. I don't know if I can make it. I should be able to make it. Yeah. As long as I don't do any jumps. I could. I'm glad I didn't do any jumps. I tend to like jumping because I'm always in a rush. If I had done one jump, I wouldn't have made it. It took us two days to reach this isolated island. The ruins stood before us. We were too exhausted to explore. The weary Taro was able to decipher the Zonai writing on the stone slab. Dragon ring slumbers. A dragon ring? In the labyrinth's deaths. Wake it and you shall receive due compensation. While this translation provided me with renewed vigor, Taro shortly thereafter fell in ill with fatigue. After seeing him off on his way home, I swore to tackle the ruins myself. The acorns and nuts I have prepared to mark my path should see to it that I get not get lost inside. Not alone. I need to work hard enough for both Taro and myself. Good way to get acorns for my armor upgrade. I'm gonna find just a skeleton laying dead in a corner. Like where the guy failed his mission. What is this? Oh, it's my companion stuck on the wall. Nice.
too. I walk carefully, avoiding the stirring gloom. Just one touch, and he'll invade the body in the blink of an eye. It's why it's a decision to send Tara home, allowing him to continue our track in his condition. They have proved fatal. What exactly is this strange gloom? More importantly, have they found the princess and her swordsman? Who delved beneath Highwood Castle to investigate it? We can only pray for their safety. Well, we know whoever's writing these isn't a foe. I was wondering if there's going to be Yiga clan shenanigans. That's a thing. This is probably where it leads, though, is up here. Searching has finally led me to a Zonai relic. I must hurry back and tell Tara all about it. I must admit, my curiosity remains piqued. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to leave these ruins. Since like I could just see a lower level from this room, just how is one supposed to reach it? I guess this will open it up. Ruler of Dragons have unlocked the door. Fight another. Oh, that's cool. Oh, these are connected. I guess this is the same labyrinth as it was in Breath of the Wild, like no changes to it. And they decided that since people have done it before, they'd just throw some acorns and then like lead us to the real new one. And we got a way back. That's the depths, isn't it? Yeah, that leads to the depths. Oh my god, there's three levels to this. There's a surface, a floating island, and a fucking depths. Oh, there's gotta be good loot in this. In Breath of the Wild, this is where you get the travel medallion. And, um, if, the, if you didn't have the DLC, there's a chest in the middle somewhere that gave, uh, you a circlet. It was an enchanted circlet. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a reload real quick. Cause I can't climb up this. Too slippery. That'll reset the 
hands too and give me a chance to actually be ready for it. I wasn't expecting that to pop up. I guess that's what they put in in place of the uh, ton of guardians that were down here in Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild, this was a whole cluster of uh, busted up guardians down here that would all target you as soon as you dropped in. <clears throat> I'm taking that shit out and I'm getting my loot. He's a regular. Oh, I guess I don't really have much choice. Oh, welcome back, hamster. Whoa! He has like some sort of a uh, gloom club this time. New weapon. Oh, Master Sword does a lot of damage to him. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I could have a hundred damage weapon if I combine two of these. He wasn't doing any gloom damage because I'm wearing gloom resistant clothing. If you look in the top left hamster, I have two little blue hearts. Those take the gloom damage for me. It's a buffer. I love this set. I need to get the head for it. Cause, yeah, that's very good. Can't go down there yet. But there is the other chasm. Oh. Big battery. I'd like to find a gotcha with those. I need to pay uh, Kelton's brother another visit. I got enough to buy a few things from him. This guy's gonna have a really rude wake up call. Also, I should probably heal. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be this is gonna be funny meme time. We're sending out the war chews.
One more just for good measure. Because I love being a retard and wasting all my resources on a fucking weak-ass Black Hinox. Sending out the war shoes. Um, I may have miscalculated a few things. Where are my charges? Charges, charges. I don't want this last one to get wasted. It's so fucking hard to find shit. I'd hate to waste a large one. Here we go. They're right up here. Apparently that was my first black Hinox horn. Maybe I should, uh... Looks like it'd make a cool hammer. You know what? I'm gonna add it to this. Seventy seven fucking damage on a club. Insane. This can go.
Tullin being a better shot than me. That's a silver. Wait, though, his colors look different. Apparently is a silver, though. They know how to counter. As neat as this is, it's not the most practical. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Oh shit! Now, if there's a way to farm these. I need to find that. You get mentioned something about possibly being in a farm plant. So if I can make a big hearty truffle farm, that'd be amazing. Yeah, fucking drown. Yes, there are two paths you can go by. I chose correctly. Regular hardy truffle. Getting some full restores in here. In my opinion, hardy foods are the best in the game. Because you can just cook one of each that you collect, and it's basically a full heal. So if you have a bunch of them, that's like a bunch of, like, you basically get unlimited health. No matter how many hearts you get, it'll fill up all of your health and give you a little bit extra overflow, like this. Very busted. I hate these fucking electric bats so much. Once they're on you, they don't, like, back off at all. And you don't get any, like, time to, like, pick up your weapon and actually hit it. At least in this one, we get companions that'll shut them down for you while you're getting mauled. Huh. All this time, I had a shrine right next to a cave that led underneath the... Oh, wow, that was a long cave, too. I'm all the way back here. I'm going to go ahead and pour it back. I'm going to keep looking around. There's got to be some way I can open up that gloom hole. And then I want to check up the upper part where there's supposed to be treasure that the dragons left.
That's where I just was. Huh. I'm not really seeing anything. Maybe the depths is the last step. Maybe I need to go up first and maybe up above will be something that will let me open the depths. Maybe that's how that works. Because I don't see anything that would open it down here. All the torches are lit. No classic Zelda torch lighting here. And it's like these are pillars right here just so you can get back up when you realize that there's nothing else you can do. Although this is a little far back from the objective. Oh, I can get back up from there. Probably would have been faster to just teleport back up. <laughs> I'm already there now, though. We're going up. Hmm. That's why they're not connected. Wait, really? It doesn't pull you faster? And higher? Well, that's annoying to know. Uh, I'll have to do a different design in the future, then it'll be cheaper. Okay. I need to make sure I got the tiers right here, Han. Okay, so that's the second tier right there. Tier 1. Tier 2. I accidentally hit the third tier. Just short of it. If I hadn't fucked up and hit that last one early. You know what I should have did? Hot air balloon. I... I could probably get rid of this design, to be honest. I did that in the time when I wasn't able to 
hold power for very long. So balloons weren't very good. But now I do have a little bit more power for things like this. Yeah, it should do it. I probably should have built one of the steering wheel. You have to go now? Alright, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Shit. Uh oh. Ah, uh, this is problematic. <sighs> Damn it. I need to add a wheel to it so I can steer it. I wonder if these disappear like the flying fan structures do, or the gliders. Oh, well, we're about to get the yes to that. They do. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You can't steer while it's underneath. You're kidding me. I'm not going to make it. That's bullshit. Wait a minute, did I grab the wrong emitter? No. Alright. Making sure I don't shoot frost out at it or something. I'm just counting on something to go wrong every time from these po at this point. tilt back a bit so I have some distance from it. Does this thing not steer at all? I don't feel like I'm going any other direction. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. So, these things don't have steering at all. Like, even if you have a wheel to it. Now I'm remembering why I don't really like the hot air balloons in this game. They're kind of crap. I'm gonna get this figured out. Just so I'm not using up as much resource. Let's get some things out here. Not better idea. I'm just bringing out the helicopter. This thing's expensive to build, but uh, I need to get a steering wheel out. make this as cheap as possible because I'm low on resources. Oh, it uses little batteries, not big ones. I kind of wasted these. This thing drains fast, too. It is a proper helicopter, though, with full steering, so as long as I have enough power, I'll make it. Might have to start dipping into my own personal power. No, 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 no. Come on, don't do this to me. Take control back! Are you fucking shitting me? No, 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 no. You know what? We're going back up. Fuck off! Come on, come on, come on. Bunch of bullshit. Get, like, get stuck on everything. Doesn't look like there's anything on this level. I gotta keep going up. Looks like the big reserves last a good while. Okay, don't get stuck again like a fucking asshole. Like, 
I've got myself centered. Oh, these batteries last a good while. Is that noise what I think it is? Oh no, it's just my shrine sensors. Low graph. Now we're gonna go real fucking fast in this thing. Okay, looks like we gotta abandon ship. It got us here, and that's what's important. Saving. That sucked. That was a big fucking waste of resources, too. Better be good treasure here. Watch it just be the barbarian armor. The maze is where we got barbarian armor in Breath of the Wild. Oh, look at that. We have a fast travel here now. Courage to jump. <laughs> this will be a fun one. Oh, God. Link, you're an asshole. I didn't realize we were doing the final rush from Halo 3. Assholes.
Oh, these guys with that bows are pissing me off big time. Fuck off. Hard enough without fucking bullshit shooting at me and somehow tracking everything despite me zipping around. They're all way the fuck back there. Here we go. And the end. I wouldn't make that. I can't remove the wheels. I was gonna try something stupid. I'm so glad that didn't go sour. <laughs> I just hit my head on the ceiling and die. Only 10 o'clock. I'm making good time on this stream. Four terminals are hidden in this maze. Activate them all. Oh, God. This is going to be a while. This is going to eat up the rest of the stream, isn't it? Whoop. Looks like there's one right over there. Nope, a chest. Big battery.
doesn't look like there's any tell as to where the terminals are. Well, I hope the reward for this is at least good. Climb this wall. There's no ceiling. If I can get some footing, maybe I can cheese this. Huh. High footing, though. Can't take that out here. Ah, shit. I can't climb the walls either. One second, guys. I need to take some ibuprofen from my tooth. Oh, God. My mouth is on fire right now. Those broken molars in the back right of my mouth have been killing me lately. I don't even know where to begin looking.
that a thing? Looks like something. Might have a lead. How do we get up to it? Hang on. I should, um... Right above this. Try getting behind. Which I might be able to do fine. I can get behind it from the right side. Let's just go up here. That doesn't leave behind it, though. Not what I'm after, but it's something. A bow. Maybe if I head around, up, down, and then up this way around the sides. Should be able to reach it from there. corner of my eye. I thought I saw something of interest there. Shit. Gotta rest.
climbable wall. This might be the answer we've been looking for. We may be able to cheese this. Screw it, I was trying to do this. Seems like a way better idea. You know what? We have low gravity, so jumping here is very effective. How about... I drink a little bit of this. Any more stamina food? No. Well, now or never. Oh, oh, just barely. Must be where a shrine will pop up. Fuck. I'm almost tempted to look up a map of where all the shrines are. Just so I at least have destinations. I don't even know what the things look like. I'm guessing it's going to be like one of those rings that you hit at the entrance. If it's a piece of armor for a set, I'm going to assume that the other two mazes uh, give the rest of that set. And I'm going to do them off stream because I don't feel like mazes are the most interesting thing to do on a stream. Like, at most the stream worthy thing in this is going to be seeing what you actually get. Like, if it's a new set, then that would be kind of exciting if it's a good set too. Not just something mediocre like that rupee armor. You know what? I'm gonna look up a map. Uh, what? Uh, Lome Sky Labyrinth. Okay. Googling a map. Okay. Okay, I, I, I wondered this. I should have investigated this sooner. Um, there is a tell where the terminals are. It's these little boxes with the lines in them. I suspected that at, at one point, but then... I just kind of shrugged it off without looking because I'm an asshole like that. Stupid dick. So I guess now I can just rush to the terminals and get my reward.
Yep, there's the terminal. Looks like the only way to get to this room is... Oh, never mind. Oh, look at that. I'm technically not even cheating by looking up that map because it looks like it actually gives it to you here. It marks them all. That would have been nice to see earlier. One there, one there. Okay, this is a lot easier now that I know what I'm looking for. It's only been like 15 minutes too, apparently. Just about. 15, 20. I need to make my way to the middle. And then I gotta access it from here. And then head. No, wait a minute. I gotta access it from here. And then go down. Right, down. First, I need to find my way to the middle. Ow, good thing that didn't kill me. It's not giving me enough gust. There we go. I just need more momentum.
One more. This is going way better now. Okay. So let's just go left, like, in, like just south of this block here. I go left and then up and then right, and it's basically right there. In and out in five minutes. Just south of here, I head west. I might not even have to rest again. Unless Link just completely fails to go through this little hole here. There we go. Give me something good for my troubles. <laughs> Gust is improved now. Make it worth my time. Just amazed. Mark my mark well my words. Oh right. I guess now I'm going underground. I guess I was right about that. Oh, you better have something good for me down there. For courage by diving into the depths of the earth. final way shall open to you. Watch it be another fucking maze. Looks like it's a flux boss. <laughs> oh my god, it is another maze. You're kidding me. I'm definitely going to do these off stream in the future. Oh, hang on now. This might be it. This might be the end of the trouble.
a good head start. Real good head start. It actually stunned it. Actually, there we go. 58 damage on a spear. That's not bad at all. I should save it, actually. this labyrinth of the depths. This trial is a test of your talents and covering it. You've shown yourself to be strong of body, skill, and mind. In my name as the ruler of dragons, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. Oh, please be a fitting reward. Armor weathered in otherworldly evil, hidden away since the days of old. Take it now. A new armor set. Evil Spirit Armor. That's the Phantom Ganon Armor. Simply this armor uh, is inspired by a malevolent entity. It's rather rare to find. Look at my hand. It's got a greenness to it. Yeah, and... Uh, in Breath of the Wild, this was a Phantom Ganon armor set. And it was like the Ocarina of Time version of Phantom Ganon. It's a pity the capes fuck up with the cloak, uh, the shields. Kind of ruins it a bit. Okay, so it looks like these are all for Phantom Ganon armor. I'm going to go ahead and check out the island now. I want to start up high so I can get to the island. In the sky first.
Oh, that's a new gotcha machine. That's not what I wanted to do. That's a fucking waste. Okay, looks like another source of cannons and wheels. Is that everything you can get out of this one? Yep. Another one of these assholes. Hmm. I have ideas for that. But I'll get to that in a bit. another three I've done one of these before. Oh.
And if this is anything like the others of these I've done, it's just going to be like an empty shrine with like a chest in it. So, let's do a quick in and out with this. And then I'll head to the island that I'm being distracted from. if this alone can get me there. Don't know if I have the things to make a plane right now. I'm completely out of zone, I... Nope, it won't be enough. Used up all my fans. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. All I can do is hope this works.
rockets didn't release me from the hold. I might have to try that again. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Good thing I saved before making all that shit there. Because I just used up all my rockets for that. I should angle the uh, rockets upward a bit too so I get more height. Don't you fucking dare roll off. Angling myself was smart at least. Or, I mean, using the stasis. I just have to release it before I launch. Because the rockets don't break it. Rockets don't seem to work too well on the glider. I just gotta do a perfect glide over, I guess. Hopefully it'll be enough. These things don't last long at all. Kind of garbage. Alright, I'm gonna go with the hot air balloon method instead. I'm gonna get it to I'm making it to that island one way or another. is I don't have any zonite do I so I'm not gonna be able to place the extra parts yeah that's not gonna do it man that's frustrating I'm gonna try the glider again but this time I'm gonna not use stasis and instead I'm just gonna shoot myself straight up with a rocket I'm going to need two to keep it stable. Thank <laughs> you. 
keep it angled downward to go faster. I have the height to afford to be able to do that. I'm not even halfway there yet. God, it's so far. Things just don't last long enough. It's ridiculous. I'm not going to make it. How the fuck are you supposed to make that? You know what? I'm gonna re- I, I, I have a plan. I, I can do this. I am going to reload. It looks like there's a Gleok up there. Um, I'm gonna reload one more time. I'm gonna go pick up some materials. Like, I need fans, for example. And I'm gonna make myself a plane with fans. Because those go a lot further. This will do. Because that's what I really need is to be able to make my fan plane. I can go much longer distances with that. And I can tilt myself upward to get height. In fact, you know what? I have enough... Uh... I have enough energy battery level at this point that I could probably like add fans to it for this and get extra like height and distance out of it as fast as possible. Something tells me I'm going to regret using these, but I'm going to use them anyways. I need a big load of fans. They gave me nine fans. That ought to do it. It's a good thing I got a shrine here. It's like they knew that people would take a million attempts at this. And that they would need a shrine for it. Okay, I'm going to build over here where it's nice and flat. I don't have to worry about losing any parts. I'm doing this. This is the one. Okay. Let's just start by building a base for this. No, let's get rid of the cart. We're going to do this with entirely fans.
push them. Bottom up though, and I don't want that. It's the top being pushed up I want. I don't know about you, Fluff, but I think this thing's gonna get some distance. need a steering wheel. That is a key component to making this work. God, please work. This has to work. Failure is not an option. Once again, this thing shits out too fast. Okay, if I reloaded, built that design again, but also brought some stamina stuff, I could probably f glide there the rest of the way. Oh, that's a king. That's a fucking king. I'm not going to make it. Wow, this is crazy. 
Those fan gliders suck. Awful. I'm making it there and I'm gonna kill that fucking thing. Okay, this time I'm gonna place down a pot and I'm gonna make some stamina thing. I know just what to make actually. I think I have one. Where is it? Should be a frog. No, it's not. Here we go. Here it is. Tireless frog. Temporary increase max stamina. So that'll be a full stamina fill with a little extra yellow. Not much extra, but it'll give that full uh, stamina refill as well, so it should be enough on its own. This, this, and this. I should angle it downward a bit. Like that. That'll give it height and distance.
these things seem to supercharge so yeah look at that it gives a full hill fill and it makes the first bar go extra slow that I end up needing it because it runs out breaks before I even get to do it. This works. This would be a good spot to put a travel medallion, actually. I'd have somewhere to rematch uh, King Gliok. Seems like a pretty good arena for it, too. Okay, uh, I'm gonna collect one of them. I'm gonna collect this one. I can always come back to it. Placing. Okay. Oh, he shoots fast. I might actually be able to do this. Hold still. And I just need to get one more hit in on this bastard. Gotcha. Oh, but then the other head replenished. Come on. Got it. And then fire replenished. Targeting actually seems to be effective. Can I stack attack? I can. That's a little busted. Okay, it's a little overpowered that I can just target them like that.
These weapons hurt, though, when you use them. I should save before doing this. That's death. I need to not use this. Hang on. I'm fine, I'm fine. That was very effective. Okay, uh... Switch back to the pulverizer. Take cover. Let my hearts refill. I'm out of arrows. That's a problem. That's a big problem. How am I going to fight this without arrows? I don't know if I, it's even possible. I could build something. Like a cannon launcher. And shoot at his head with cannons. Okay, uh... Well, I got like one hit in. It's also blocking the breath. What if I placed... I need to take cover for this. Okay, uh... One of these. I need to, like, quick build this. I don't have the Zonite to just place one without the materials out, though. So... One of these, these... This beam emitter. I need another rocket.
Wow. still. Great. Where'd my gadget go? Ah. <sighs> wonder. Not a single uh, hit missed me. You know, it's fucking bullshit how he just blasts you away too when he's landed, so melee is just not an option. That's fucking stupid that you're forced to use arrows. Like, that's just unfair. What if I put a beam emitter or something on a shield? I could, like, long-range zap his heads by targeting them. I'm running out of ideas. Cool. I hate this. I can't believe I fucking ran out of arrows. This is such a cool boss until you have no arrows and then it's just like terribly designed. Alright. Well, this is going to reload to before I used up all that garbage, all the materials. I have a travel medallion here though. Here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm, I'm fucking killing this thing. I'm getting my revenge. couple things. I'm going to go to some stables. I'm going to buy a bunch of arrows for one thing. And this time I'm going to make use of bullet time by climbing the pillars. Maybe I'll put down a fan or something. I don't know. But I'm going to be using bullet time this time. I feel like that's a requirement for this fight. I wasted an attack up. <laughs> okay. We have one important stop to make before anything else. We need Hudson to look after us. Absolutely magnificent. Now we're gonna win. We're gonna beat the King Gliok because we have the power of Hudson looking after us. Can I actually use his armor shop yet? Doesn't look it. Okay, I'm gonna check the general store. There should be some arrows here. If not, uh, I can buy them from Beetle at the stables. Here we go. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
どうおおあ,あ That's only six team though. Alright. Time to find Beetle. I'm gonna need more than 16 arrows, that's for sure. There he is. Beetle doesn't realize this, but he's assisting in the slaying of a legendary King Gliok. Sure, you can have the beetle. Are you kidding me? He only sells one bundle of five. He does have 20 singles, though. I'm gonna find him in another stable. You should have more at the next one. This is going longer than anticipated. Forty-one arrows. That might be enough, but I don't want to risk it. I want to stock up as much as I can. Maybe get like sixty or so. Okay, this is where I can go for the next great fairy. Where the fuck is Beetle? There he is, that son of a bitch. Look at him. He's all the way over here. You'd think he'd be chilly out here. Yeah, he's cold. <laughs> These noises. 66 arrows. That should do it. I'm going to do a little bit of cooking because I have this uh, hearty shit. Heal myself with something that doesn't use up all my attack ups.
Thankfully, reloading gives me my fairies back. Now we're talking. Lots of stuff here. I'm probably going to piss through it all. Because this Gliok isn't a joke. This is like my last major challenge without any armor upgrades. By the next stream, I'll have upgraded armor. Okay. Here goes. I kind of want to get a better picture for my... <laughs> That'll do. Now that I'm out of fairies. Good use of those. Taking vanity shots. I couldn't get up. <laughs> Ascend kind of sucks. You can only go up like two inches. And it's very, very specific about how sloped the ceiling can be. Hey, even if you don't save, it actually saves your compendium photo. So I get my fairies back and keep my shot. So I'd say that's a win. <laughs>
like not being able to see. Gloom automatically heals in sunlight, so that alleviates that quite a bit. <laughs> Fuck off, that's fucking dumb. shitty rune it doesn't work doesn't work on the flat surface, but when it's like jammed up in the corner, it works. That makes sense. What a crap rune. I'm on the final phase. Let's heal all this gloom and get myself overhealed. I have no idea what the king special is going to be. Maybe it'll be all three at once, like what the others do. Exactly what it is. Get up, Link. Get up. Bullshit. Are you fucking kidding me? That's so fucking bullshit. The ice is landing in the same spots as the updraft, so how the fuck am I supposed to get up? I can beat it, but that's fucking dumb. That there was nothing fair about that death. Okay, so don't ride the gusts. Those are a trap, I guess. And I'll instead wait for the ice.
Gloom Sword Sword. doing this. I love getting sniped out of the air. Oh, this king is cancer. I can definitely beat this, but oh boy. Honestly, it's not that bad using the Gloom Sword. It doesn't do like any regular damage or anything, it just... It just adds a lot of Gloom. It does it fast though, so I have to like be careful. being a bit of a retard. I think he's going after the champions.
can't even look down far enough. Yep. Wow. This is impossible. This is bullshit. How? How am I supposed to fight this? It's not a problem until you get to the final phase and it's just fucking broken. It's so bullshit. I need to get like an ice piece that's bigger. The small ones melt away. I guess the idea is maybe you're supposed to use the small ones to get to the big ones, like as a step ladder. At this point, it's just about revenge. Can blow you over through the rocks, that makes sense. Gotcha, asshole. Also, nice shot, Cullen. He's gonna knock me over if I don't move. Get me off the ledge. He's gonna do this again. See through all the particles. Is he doing a thing? He is.
Give me a fucking chance to move, please. Wow, he just eats right through that health boost. It doesn't... How, how am I supposed to do this? It doesn't give me any fucking breathing room. It's just constant attacks. Okay, this would be the period where I can do it, but it might be a little late. I, I think I see the... Oh, I, I figured it out. I figured it out. I got this. <gasps> if I get hit by that, though, it's over. Okay, well, I know what to do now. I know what to do now, so I'm gonna... I, I see there's like a pause after the barrage. I use a gust from a lightning to get on top of a large piece of ice. Shoot up during the pause. That's the way to do it. I can do this. This is now 11.44. I'm not going to bed until I've completed this island. <laughs> Go over here, asshole. You're blind shit. Cool. Off to a great start. Had it last second. Come on, hold still. Flops around too much. <sighs> Stupid ice. Play this safe. I'm staying under here until the pause. Seems like you can't. Seems they only go where you land, or where you're standing. fresh ones. Well, this is the trick. This is definitely it. Okay, I, ha I have to get the last ones. I know this time. I've got this. It's hard to see the lines of lightning.
motherfucker. I gotta not get greedy. I need to wait for the pause. How many fairies do I have left? One. I have room for one fuck up. bitch. Well, I guess it was inevitable. I was gonna have to use up at least one more fairy. Oh, I survived that without taking a fairy. He's still up. killed a fucking king. Oh my god, my heart is racing. That was absolutely brutal and unfair. Is this horn different? Like, are they like king horns? Nope, they're still just the regular types. Ooh, Gliot guts. Doesn't look like there's an entry for them. Oh boy, I did it. I've killed one of every Gliok. I'm assuming that's all of them. This treasure is going to be a, a diaper. You're the diaper, Douglas. Now you're the diaper chief. Oh, that's Sage as well. Uh, that's okay. Hey, you have enough to upgrade another character. You know what that means, Riju. That's right. You're due for a promotion. Only way to go now is down. Looks like it's not a trial anymore. There might be loot here though. Monster forces. So I have to kill all the monsters challenge now. <laughs> this thing can kill a black goblin in two hits. That's insane. that hammer.
Soaring Boomerang. That sounds like hot garbage. Can I get rid of these and make room for it? Also, I think that's my first boomerang that I've seen. Like, like stones have entries too. Apparently I do have an entry for giant boomerangs. I need to get inside that wall. helicopter. Like everything I need right here for it. this isn't a one-way trip. I bet that's a Korok over there. Don't worry about that later, though. We have liftoff. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's just short of being usable. are a good meat source. They have a chance of dropping gourmet. Looks like that's a back door. I imagine this would be a boss fight. Or not. <gasps> that was close. Oh, shit. It seems like instead of it being you're naked, find the things, the orbs, like it was a Breath of the Wild, this is like a go to all the different enemy camps and wipe them out. 
sort of thing. Which means there's an enemy that didn't get taken out up there. It survived somehow. Maybe it got knocked off a cliff by one of the enemies and, like, landed in a spot where it survived. That's my guess. Where the fuck did it go, then? Maybe we count without it. All I know is the monster forces barred in empty when I was up here. I mean, it's gone now, but probably because I left the area. Okay, bye. continue forward and see if it lets me continue. It'll detect that the enemy disappeared or something. I never left his spot. He was in Breath of the Wild. Trying to figure out where the shrine will actually go. Nearby or down below. It's gonna be like underneath the island or something. Or like a cave in the back or something. I'm 
I'm not seeing where there's any more enemy bases. Apparently Link can't stand on this. In real life, I could stand on a slope like that easily, but... This magical elf lad... Can't stand on anything steeper than a... Fucking 10 degree angle. I'm being salty tonight. You know what? I probably do have to kill everything here. And it'll like pop out of the ground here or something. There's another base over here. Here we go. This might be what I'm missing. I was right underneath it and didn't even realize. Ten bomb flower, that's pretty good. Oh. Missed you must have a death wish to make your way to this island. You heard the rumors, right? This is for the pirates that attacked the Rillian village hideout. And I sure don't want to be here. But I'm on a mission to locate the pirates' hideout for the monster control crew. Oh. By the by, I just now saw a pirate ship approaching the island. Hmm. Strange, as soon as it went around the rear side of the island, the ship disappeared. Somewhere in the back is an entrance. Maybe the pirates really do have a hideout on the island. And that's where the ship disappeared to. That would make it the monster control crew's duty to find and eradicate them, not just scout things out. Oh. Yeah, one or two enemies, but that sounds like more. Uh, so I'm nervous, frozen up to the spot. Treat, locate the hideout, try to fight the pirates myself. Oh. 
Can I have this guy follow me? Oh. Help fight? I guess not. He's too scared. He's being a pants pissy little Nancy boy. So, I do think there is one more enemy up here. I have an idea. I'm gonna do a save and load to reset it. So, I think it got knocked away. And then despawned. And if that happens, I wonder if it even counts. If I didn't eliminate everything here, then it'll respawn upon reload in its original spot. No, uh, it looks like I got it all. I was wondering if Tolman shot it with a bow and it just like slid off into some random spot. I didn't think to check this. There was a thing up here. I bet I can remove it. Maybe I can drop in from the top. Nope. This is a glider thing. Nothing. There we go. Oh, this is cool. I think it's time I start saving up gems. I can worry about mining after I'm done killing all this stuff. Don't hit that. I was just thinking to myself how perfect of an opportunity it was to get Rishu's thing ready. And I was about to get to her, but too late.
here, Riju. Riju. All oh, these followers can be really annoying sometimes. No, not you. Riju's gonna get me killed. I, got, I just gotta give up on it. Down from there, prick. <laughs> oh, in the drink he goes. <laughs> One way to do it. Gotta find the last enemies. I think it's just one more. Going by the bar. One or two. Probably one. Depends on their enemy tier, I guess. If it's a couple of blues, maybe. Yeah, it's a couple blues. Seems to go by the amount of health present overall. place and see if chicken shit has anything for me. There's that shrine. Spikes. Okay. I have stuff over here to get anyways. I'm gonna grab them and then try it again. Got a diamond that time. Better loot from that rock. And the last time I got a topaz. treasure. <laughs> Still conscious, Fluff? <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if you fell asleep in this. This is a fucking dull ass stream. Like the last half of this. I wandered endlessly through a maze for a couple hours. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> I guess how I guess I should have known better. How could you possibly fall asleep with me screaming at a cheap ass Gliok fight? 
Oh, that was brutal. I can finally say that I did it, though. I beat a King Gleok. I've been up for a couple upgrades. The next time I stream, I'm going to have armor. It'll be glorious. I'm going to actually be able to take more than one hit from things. And I'll actually be able to stock up on fairies and not run out of them immediately. Alright. Let's go find Pansy and hopefully get a good reward for doing this. I want a pirate outfit. I should lower my expectations. It'll probably give me like a sage as well or something. Hey! Hey, you kind of uh, something happened. What's up? A cave hidden around the back of the island. There was a pirate ship. You beat every single pirate on the ship too. Holy cow! You're like a one-man monster control crew. You know, I'm part of a monster control crew, and I still lost my nerve. Thanks to you, I can finally breathe easily. I should probably give you some token of gratitude for risking your life. Here, accept this with my thanks. Okay, that's <laughs> decent. Expecting that something that rare, were you? Picked it up in a previous monster control crew expedition. I'm holding on to it, it's a lucky charm all this time, but you'll probably get more use out of it than I would. <laughs> now, time to put together a report. That's not a bad. It saves me from having to do a Lionel fight, and I can give myself a Lionel tier sword. White man, that's a that's a fucking silver tier. Uh, I guess there's just one last thing to check out here. A real pity that uh, I can't upgrade my phantom armor. Like, this is my last adventure with this. Okay, I was expecting, like, some sort of light down here. Like, a lot of the others usually have, like, torches and, like, light mushrooms or something. I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna equip my glow clothes a little early this time. And I'll just use my glider a little bit more going down. Actually, something I never considered doing. You know what, though? It wouldn't activate. Never mind. I was thinking I could add a um, glow bud to my shield, but... That's okay. We have light bulb pants. Really help much, did it? <laughs> At least I took one damage. And what's down here? I don't see any light bulbs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not a light bulb. something over there. It seems pretty closed off. I wonder if it's just this one room. Like, just shut off from the rest of the land. Yeah. Yeah, this just seems like one small room. Gotta be something special in here, right? I would hope. 
Lone Island Coliseum. It's a Coliseum. Is that a large bud? Let's light this room up proper. Huh. That's disappointing. I guess I'm a gladiator now. Let me get this light place lit properly. Hold on, Valkos. We'll fight in a moment. shot Talon. Okay, that was close. This isn't so bad. sniping. Last room. Just one silver? Really? It's kind of easy. Practically handed me a free extra long spear. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, and then there's one more after this. Maybe that's where I get my treasure. I'm beating this. If I beat this. I have a thing that I'm gonna wanna make. These guys can hold them off long enough. Uh, where are they, where are they? Restore health depleted by gloom. Is this for potions or food? Cooking, okay. I can't cook when enemies are near. Shit. I was worried about that happening. Okay, I just need to keep my distance. I'll work on getting the little guys first. Okay. Keeping 
distance, keeping distance. If I can get to Riju. He's knocked down. Riju, please. I wish you wouldn't run away from me. Oh, fuck's sake, I had an opportunity for a second there. Riju, please, please. Fuck. Probably a broken record at this point, but I really don't like how the champions just run away from you whenever you're trying to use their ability. Like, you're in a fight, so obviously you're going to be running, but running just makes it worse. Midna's helmet. Well, now I have a gloom-resistant helmet. A helmet much like the one Midna wore when she fought alongside the Hero of Twilight. It's rather rare find. So now I have full gloom equipment. Sweet. If I fully max out all these, I wonder if the helmet would count towards the set bonus. Despite being a different piece. I know in Breath of the Wild there were some items that actually did that. At least I remember them being items that did that. Yeah. Well, aside from Riju being difficult, this was a uh, cool, worth it. I got a full set of gloom equipment now. I do really like the gloom stuff, and it's nice to have a little bit of Midna with me. What's this? It's the only one that seems to have a divot like this. Oh, it's like seats. like where the audience in the Colosseum would be, though. <laughs> Alright, then. Keep your secrets. There's another one up there, but I doubt there's anything. I'm gonna make sure that I'm thorough in here. more. Oh, hey, a light bud. That would make things a little easier around here. Oh, wow. Look at that. It really is just a closed off area. Looks kind of like a chub. Not gonna lie. Last 
first let's check this out. This will work. Can I make a fan with this? <laughs> I can. Doesn't seem to have an effect on this sand, though. What about water? something going on with this sand. Looks like somewhere a shrine would pop out, to be honest. That might be what this is, but are there even shrines in the depths? need this though it's just fast travel so I'm gonna keep uh, exploring in here all right so I came in here and I went around this way after the Coliseum so it's something over here maybe could be of interest otherwise I don't really see the point in any of this something over there why would they have all that extra area and not have anything over there they would have just put the Coliseum down here and called it a day and not expand out all this extra space that looks like there's like stuff over there back there probably is just a quick way back up like if uh, you went down here before getting the shrine up there That's a nice weapon. Nice claymore. Pristine condition. Get that in the compendium. And I have room for it too. Durability. Nice. like just a little mining operation over here. Ready for this fluff. <laughs> Return to sender. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
What do we got for stuff I can add to the massive sword? Looks like it's just a spot to mine. said scrub this place clean that needle actually revealed something I wonder what's in there I think I've actually been in there before yeah I think that's actually part of where I got part of my uh one of my outfit pieces, one of my treasures. I know how I can end tonight. It's 1243 actually. Maybe I should call it here. I'm going to go ahead and teleport out of here. For the next stream, I think I'm going to put myself over, hang on, where's the Great Plateau? Right here. Okay. I'm going to get myself over to the Great Plateau, and that's where I'm going to start next stream. Explore Great Plateau for a while. to this last shrine, why not? We'll end it with a shrine. A shrine right outside the Great Plateau. Well, we're right on the edge of it. We're actually on it, I think. Force transfer.
I need more of a handlebar. I can't take stuff out here. That's way too high. Of course I can't. Oh. Answer was right there. I just had to open my eyes a little bit more. I didn't really need the second stick, I could have just did that. But I imagine what you're supposed to do is put both sticks on top of each other and prop that up, but you don't really have to. Hard as it is, I should put this down. Next time I'm on stream, I'm going to explore this island. Uh, one of the big things I want out of this is somewhere on here is my final Poe Collector statue. So I can get the last piece of the actual gloom set. And then I'll be able to decide whether or not I actually want the uh, Midnight Helmet or that helmet. I'll pick whichever one looks better. Uh, I do really like the gloom effect, the anti-gloom. So it'll be pretty sweet having that full set and having it upgraded. Okay, anyways. It's time for me to go. Night.